In this video, I'll uncover how you can produce more growth hormone naturally. Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Zorowski and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification and join our notification community so I can help you excel your health and your life. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to produce growth hormone naturally, how to boost growth hormone naturally. This is important because as we age, it starts to decline, we don't feel as well, and a lot of people want that anti-aging effect that growth hormone has to offer. So let's go ahead in this video and talk about what growth hormone does for our body, but also how to go about boosting it naturally. Let's talk about growth hormone first. Now when we look at growth hormone, essentially what happens is it starts to actually decline drastically once we hit about 30 years old. I have a lot of people who come into my clinic and they say, you know, Dr. Zorowski, once I hit 30, I had a harder time losing weight, you know, building strength, keeping my muscle mass, it just things didn't work as well. And so when we hit 30, it starts to decline, but we, there's some things that we can do in order to help boost that up. Let's talk about some of the things growth hormone does for us. It's going to help improve our weight loss. It's going to help improve muscle and strength. It's going to give us stronger bones. It also is going to support cognitive function. So just helping your brain work better on a daily basis. It also is going to decrease the risk of heart cardiovascular disease, which is very important when we look at the global statistics of cardiovascular disease, they're very high. And so we want to make sure we're always doing something to decrease that risk. Also, it's going to support better sleep. It's going to be a natural remedy for impotence and also offer us generalized anti-aging. And I can say, who doesn't want anti-aging? So, you know, if we're doing, um, the wrong things and we have decreased growth hormone, we're gonna have all the opposite of this right here, okay? We're gonna have increased weight loss. We'll have a harder time, you know, maintaining muscle mass. So we wanna make sure we're doing the right things. And there's a lot, a lot of celebrities out there who go and wanna do these growth hormone injections because they see all the different benefits it has to offer. Unfortunately, there's a lot of negative side effects to that too. Let's talk about how to boost growth hormone naturally. So first thing here is when we wanna boost it naturally, we wanna make sure that we're getting high quality sleep. A lot a lot of people have terrible sleep. I can't tell you how many people I talk to and they just can't sleep well at night. We always want to be working to hack our sleep and get a higher quality. It's something I focused on greatly for a long time because with three kids, essentially, you know, you just don't get very good sleep for many years. And so I was always working, you know, white noise, all these different things to improve my quality of sleep. So work on that because if you get good quality sleep at night, essentially you'll get a higher um, boost of growth hormone throughout the night. Next is intermittent fasting. It's very powerful for growth hormone boosting in the body. Essentially, when we look at intermittent fasting, 16 and 8, one meal a day, both of them work well. I'd say that one meal a day is going to give you a bigger boost, but we don't want to discount 16 and 8 either. 16 and 8 is perfectly fine for boosting growth hormone. Water fasting. So doing a three, four day water fast, you know, maybe every other month, monthly, it's going to really help boost growth hormone as well. It's something that I practice in my own lifestyle in order to help boost growth hormone. And um, I find that many people who do the same really feel great doing so. High intensity interval training. Now high intensity interval training is basically this method of ex exercise where you train at a very high intensity state for about 20 minutes or so. So a simple example of that would just be doing sprints for 20 minutes. Okay, So you do those sprints for 20 minutes after you are done doing those sprints uh, in that 20 minute time frame, essentially you're done with your exercise and that's it. But that really has been proven to boost growth hormone. If you want to really boost growth hormone, do the high intensity interval training before your first meal of the day, practicing intermittent fasting and you get crazy results. It boosts it like 2000% and so it's really powerful. Amino acids, you know, I always take amino acids pre-workout, post-workout, very helpful, especially L-glutamine and L-arginine are very powerful for boosting growth hormone. Low-carb diet. Now, this is really essential. We want to make sure that we're following a low-carb diet because when we look at following a diet that's high in sugar, that's high in carbohydrates, it's very counterproductive for those of us who are trying to boost growth hormone because once you raise insulin, you lower growth hormone. If you can lower insulin, you can boost growth hormone. So we want to make sure that we're following a high-quality diet. That's key here. And then the last on our list is we want to decrease stress. When we have an increase in stress in our body, essentially what happens is we have an increase in cortisol being released and that decreases our growth hormone level. So we want to make sure we're always going and you know, putting these different methods into our lifestyle to help decrease stress, whether it's meditation, whether it's reading, whatever decreases stress for you, um, make sure that you're implementing that in. For a lot of people, it's exercise. So you know, figure out what that is, put that in your lifestyle so that you can make sure that you're boosting growth hormone because both men and women alike are going to benefit very much from this whole thing. So 
Make sure that you're working to boost growth hormone in your body. And um, if you want further resources on intermittent fasting and water fasting, high intensity interval training, I'll go ahead and put that all in the description below. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And also be sure to check out my other videos on how you can improve your health. I'll see you in the next video.